many living organisms, such as plants and animals, that we can see with our eyes are made up of many, many cells, sometimes millions of cells, and these are called multicellular organisms. There are also many living organisms that exist as a single cell. These are referred to as either single-celled organisms or unicellular organisms. And as they are single cells, we cannot see them with our eyes and we would need a microscope to see them. In this video, we are going to look at four different examples of unicellular organisms. The first unicellular organism we will look at is the bacterium. The plural of bacterium is bacteria. This cell has many similar features to those of the animal and plant cells we've looked at previously. You might be able to pick out a few of these including the cell membrane, cytoplasm, ribosomes, and the cell wall. You may notice, however, that the bacterium does not have a nucleus. Instead, its genetic information is shared in two places. There is a ring of DNA called a DNA plasmid, and there is also a strand of loose DNA. Some, but not all bacteria, also have a flagellum for movement. The second cell that we will look at that exists as a single cell is yeast. Yeast is a type of fungus and you'll probably be able to recognise many of the same features that you'll find in animal or plant cells, including a cell membrane, a nucleus, mitochondria, a vacuole, cytoplasm, ribosomes, and a cell wall. The next single celled organism is the amoeba. In similarity with animal and plant cells, it has a cell membrane, a nucleus, and cytoplasm. In addition, it also has a contractile vacuole, which removes water and waste, and it also has a food vacuole to digest food that has been engulfed. And finally, the extensions around the amoeba are called pseudopods and they are for movement or to engulf food. So the amoeba will extend a pseudopod to travel towards food and will then engulf it by surrounding it and absorbing it. And finally, the euglena also exists as a unicellular organism. It has mitochondria, cytoplasm, a nucleus, cell membrane and chloroplasts. In addition, it also has an eye spot to detect light, a flagellum for movement and a contractile vacuole that removes water and waste. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.